What's up guys? Welcome to Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Who is Bennett Foddy, you may ask? I have no idea. But we're about to get over it with Bennett Foddy. <laughs> guys, welcome to this game. This is new. This is a very, very new game for me. Um, this game, I've watched a couple of people play it now. Um, the latest person that I watched play it was my friend Freedom Fries. Uh, Freedom Fries turned me on to this game, so I had to buy it because it looked like so much frustrating fun. <laughs> and you guys will see what I'm talking about once we get into this game. It is, it's very frustrating. I've tested it out one time just to kind of get the feel of how the controls work on it, and they are really, really funky. I mean, it's really, this is a really tough game, but it's actually a really fun game uh, once you start to figure it out. And uh, it's, it's actually really funny too. Um, you guys see what, I, what I'm talking about um, as we get into the game. So let's go ahead and, and jump in and uh, get started with it. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Oh. All right, guys, here we are. We are inside of a cauldron. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea why. This game is just like that. It's very weird. And. It looks like maybe we're, we're naked, but we're inside of a cauldron filled with water, and we have a hammer or an axe or something like that. And this is how we get around. We can use the axe to shift ourselves that way or shift ourselves that way. And um, believe me, this thing is really, really difficult to control. Sometimes we can do that. Lift ourselves up in the air or lift ourselves down. Well, not lift, but let ourselves down. And then we can go up. Whoop. Ha ha. Like that. <laughs> There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, I also have a narrator. Or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. So yeah, this game has a narrator, and the narrator is very funny, but at times whenever you're frustrated, he can be very, uh, well, frustrating. <laughs> but uh, you guys will see. It's, it's funny. It's, it's, this is a funny game, very quirky game, very different game. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Okay. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress, always, even your mistakes. So we want to lift, catch ourselves like that, and spin this thing around and catch that. No. no. There's going to be a lot of falling and a lot of redoing things in this game because... This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. Yeah. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. hammer. That act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. But why are we in a cold? No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery, and the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Yeah, like now. Like right now. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that uh -huh. blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. 
It might take you an hour to get over that tree. And a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending there enough we go. time. There we go. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Okay. Pull ourselves over really carefully. Mm. There we go. Nice. Nice. This is actually, I've actually done really well thus far. But um, it doesn't matter how much progress you make in this game, you can lose it all in an instant <laughs> if you make the wrong move. So we're going to do this very carefully. Mm. Careful. No, careful. Careful. Mm. There. Okay, what I want to do is not go over there. I want to go up there because I think that's... If you go this direction, there's nothing over there except a garbage can. But up is where we need to go. So let's uh, carefully do this and do that. Catch ourselves. The obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. Yeah. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, Can't and it's authentic it. to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Okay. So, this is tough. I have not gotten past this point right here. This is as far as I've made it. And, uh, what I need to do is I need to launch myself into the air somehow and catch that light right there. But that's, that's only the first thing. There's another light on the... Well, you'll see it. It's up above that light. I need to catch that one. And that's extremely difficult. So, let me try this. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. Uh -huh. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. I have a question. Why are we in a cauldron? I don't know if he ever answers that question. Maybe it's just a quirky part of the game that is, ne is never answered. I gotta balance myself up here and launch. <clears throat> Not do that. Okay. Catch this rock. Lift myself. Whoa, 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 <clears throat> Catch myself. Whoa, dude. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's, uh, up and like that mm. no not real sure how to do this oh 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 i almost caught it almost caught it don't do that please don't do that please don't do that yes yes and now, <clears throat> no. See, I always catch the end of that. Oh, don't let go, don't let go. No, no, no. Whoo, that was close. That was close, almost lost a lot of progress right there. Okay, maybe if I can reach. See, I just can't reach that. 
Okay, alright. Let's bring that down. And... I don't know. <coughs> See, I always catch my hammer on that right there. That right there is a problem for me. Okay. Lift myself. Now, the way I saw Freedom Fries do this is you get your stuff up here and you go like that and you go. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Fries. I don't know how you did that. I've tried that several times and it hasn't worked for me yet. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Yeah, Just do yeah. what you did the first well, time. Well, I've never succeeded at it. I've actually gotten myself up to the second light, but uh, never above that. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. There. Whoa. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Don't do that. See this hammer on things like metal? Like that? Ooh, didn't mean to do that. It slides like it normally would in real life. And on stone it catches a little easier, but it still slides. This game, the, the uh, mechanics of the game are pretty true to real life. Well, I say pretty true. I mean, look at me. I'm lifting myself off the ground with a cauldron hanging off my butt with nothing but a hammer. But, I mean, you know, relatively speaking. If I could just... <sighs> get myself back up there. See, when you get frustrated and you start making wild moves like that, that's when you really, really throw yourself off and, and lose a lot of progress. And it's really easy to get very frustrated in this game. Real easy. <laughs> because I don't know how to do this. I wish I could do this. I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Careful now. Get down. Get down. Okay. I know I gotta do that. Let my stuff get down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, come on now. So your hammer will slip off of the rock like that. <clears throat> I've got to somehow... Oh. i got to launch myself up to catch that light. Because that's the only way up. I can't go that way and I can't of course I can't go around that way so I have to go up that way dude careful so I have to, let's see bring this around catch that and come down no 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 and no launch <coughs> See, the thing is, I can launch myself up there, but um, once I launch myself up there, the hammer, I've got to somehow bring it back around to catch that light, and that's when I start hitting the sides and sending myself back down. Come on. Yes! Yes! Don't! Don't! Mm. See, this is so frustrating right here. I don't really know how I just did that. That's what's frustrating about it. If I knew how I did that, I could do it again. But I don't know how I did it. But I will attempt to recreate that scenario. <gasps> oh. <sighs> okay, okay. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Maybe... Hmm. 
No. Alright. Let's try that again. Come on, Bennett Foddy. Or whoever you are. There, there. Stop. <sighs> okay, what do I do from here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got it. You got it. <clears throat> no, don't do that. Please don't do that. Bring your hammer back down carefully. Carefully. Launch. <clears throat> Let's not do that. If I go off that way, I'm doomed. I'll probably have to start all over from the beginning. So let's not do that. <sighs> okay, okay. All right. Careful. Careful. Mm, see, I always do the wrong thing right there. Always do the wrong thing. What I'm supposed to do... That. Yeah, yes, catch it. <sighs> Careful, dude. Careful. <clears throat> okay, I think I got it. I think I can get this. No. Right. No, 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 no. Get yourself back over there. And launch. <laughs> the sound effects in this game. Oh! Almost had it. Almost had it. I'm so afraid that once I launch myself off that second light, I'm going to go right off the edge. We'll deal with that when we get there. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Mm. Bring yourself back over. Dude. Can you imagine the upper body strength somebody like that would have that could actually do this? Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Nope. 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 Right there. Okay. Now, we got to launch ourselves from right here. There. <sighs> okay. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh. I feel like I can do this. I know I can do this. No. Careful now. Let me make a quick movement. <laughs> no. Catch it. Catch it. do that. Alright. Whoa, dude. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Careful. 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 No. No. Huh. Whoa. <clears throat> that was close. That was really close. I think I'm starting to get what I'm supposed to do here. And that was not it. That was not it. That was not it either. This. So let myself down and launch. Let myself down and launch. No, dude. No, dude. Don't do that. Don't do that. I 
Shift. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Where's our narrator at? I haven't heard from him in a while. Guys, this game gets so funny. At parts where you where you oh, hold on. Whoop. <clears throat> don't 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 don't. Oh, I'm so tense right now. Okay, I gotta analyze this. If I take that hammer and flip myself around and catch the peak of that mountain right there, or mountain rock, whatever, but if I do it too hard, I'm gonna send myself flying over the edge. And that's not going to be good because that's going to make me lose a whole lot of progress. And what I was, what I was saying before I did this is um, the parts where you lose a lot of progress, they're extremely frustrating. But um, when you do that, the narrator comes on and he's usually extremely funny. And it kind of... It's entertaining. You guys will probably see once I mess up here. Alright, bring yourself... No! No, what are you doing? Stop that. No. Are you kidding? What are you doing? Catch it. Bring it down, bring it down. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying is... The game has a lot of funny parts to it. There's, there's parts where it, st it will start playing music, and the music is hilarious. It's like this really old, like 1920s sort of music. You'll see. All right, all right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. I think I got it now. I think I've got it. Come on, Bennett. Mr. Foddy. Huh. And... <laughs> Come on. Come on, dude. Get it together. Pull yourself together, man. Yeah. You got it. There. Oh, so close. I'm going to try something that uh, I saw fries do. If you guys have not seen my friend Freedom Fries' channel, you need to go check him out. I'll put his, a link to his channel in the description below. So check that out. His, uh, his, uh, getting over with Bennett Foddy videos are actually pretty entertaining. Um, I laughed pretty hard. <laughs> oh, that was almost really, really bad. Okay. All right. Once I get myself to the top up here, I'll break until the next episode. Unless I send myself going all the way back to the bottom, <laughs> then I may rage quit and um, <laughs> save that to the next episode. <laughs> But, nah, we'll make it up here. I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
Why is that so difficult? Realistic at all. <laughs> As if any of this game is. <laughs> okay, alright. Set yourself down. And here we go! <laughs> Fries, I don't know how you did that. Your little flip back and forth technique doesn't seem to work for me. Maybe I just need to keep trying. <clears throat> that wasn't in the correct position right there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There, there. Launch! Whoop! Whoop. <sighs> I had the right idea right there, I think. And launch! Whoop. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Don't let go. Don't let go. Careful. Dude, bring yourself in. There you go. Up. Over. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. I have to... No, 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 no. Don't do that. Dude, you're going to fall now. <laughs> Look at the dude's eyes are like shifting back and forth. Oh. Guys, this is tough. This is really, really tough. I oh. uh, don't know how to do this. Yeah? Okay, okay. Pull yourself. There you go. There you go. Okay. I think we got it. I think we got it. No! Oh, no! he just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. See? See? Anyway, guys, this is Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. Thanks for watching. I'll do another episode of this soon. I'll do another episode of this real soon. Um, thank you guys for your support on my channel. And uh, click that like button if you want to see more of this video. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. See you next time.